a garage can become many things, including an art studio. It was a, a lot of years coming. But it finally came about six years ago when Donald added a creative bend to ordinary screen wire. The same type screen wire used for porches and doors. And one day, Donald had to repair a screen door and he had a little bit of the screen material left over. And in his artistic hands, he had himself a brand new art medium. It was an absolute surprise discovering screen. The wire fell alive to him, as if giving its approval if moved in one way and objected if moved in another way. You'll get a bend like here, where it just says, no, I'm going to bend this way. Donald the sculptor and the screen wire become interwoven. Being able to really work both sides, work into the piece itself and become part of the piece as I'm working with it. His work with the new medium got noticed. Capturing that little bit of movement, but not allowing it to be stagnant. Who would have thought that screen wire used to keep bugs out has a pretty side, enough for a fine art show. This is a light, airy sculpture. Three-dimensional sculptures that took about 10 hours each to make. Donald's work isn't complete without a spotlight that completes it. That tension, that push and that pull. And one more unusual creative aspect. Notice how Donald signs his work with a piece of wire. An artist who uses something very ordinary to create something visually extraordinary. Joe Corson, WALB News 10, Valdosta. Joe Corson reporting for NBC News.